All right, so let's talk integrations. So right now in Social Snowball's integrations tab, we have two natively built integrations, Klaviyo and PostScript. Um, we're building a lot more, so by the time you watch this, there's a very likely chance that we have more, um, and you could integrate with a lot of other apps as of right now with Zapier. Um, but let's talk about native integrations. So setting up these integrations pretty much does the same thing um, regardless of what you're integrating with. So basically there's two big parts of it. There's trigger events and custom properties. So when you integrate with, let's say, Klaviyo, for example, it'll send trigger events and custom properties from your social Snowball account to your Klaviyo account, and they'll be able to communicate these back and forth um, automatically. So what that means is a trigger event, for example, could be something like new affiliate signed up via purchase or new affiliate signed up via sign up form or new payout sent or new commission earned. Those could all be trigger events that you use to trigger flows in your Klaviyo um, account for emails or your PostScript account for SMS. And then custom properties will be unique tags that you could include in the actual content of your flows. So in Klaviyo, for example, um, a custom property you might use is a custom discount code. So if a new affiliate signs up and you wanna send them a reminder to share their discount code, you could include a custom property tag in the content of your emails that'll automatically look up the user in Social Snowball, find their unique discount code and include that in the content of the email. So let's talk about setting one of these up. Um, Setting them up is pretty much the same, which regardless of which one you're doing, obviously with Zapier, it's a little different, but that's pretty self-explanatory uh, through Zapier's platform. So let's set up a Klaviyo integration right now and see what that looks like. So first thing I'm going to do is go to Klaviyo dashboard. We're going to need to get two different uh, values from our Klaviyo dashboard to connect it to Social Snowball, and that would be our public and private API keys. So to do that, we're going to click on our account name on the top right, then click account. <clears throat> Now we're gonna to go to settings and then down to API keys. So the first thing we'll need to do is copy this public API key and then paste it into the public API key field within Social Snowball. And now the second thing we're gonna do is create a private API key. Now we'll call this Social Snowball so that we know what it's for moving forward. And now we are going to paste this into the private API key. Oh, whoops. We're going to go back here. We're going to copy this first. And now we're going to paste it into the private key field. Then you're just going to flick this on and click save. If it works successfully, you'll see the success notification. Clavio has been enabled. So now let's go to our Klaviyo account and test if it worked successfully. So the way we test this is by going to the profile section within the Klaviyo account. Now, if this worked, you'll see a new profile that was just created uh, when you set the integration live and it will be snowballbot at socialsnowball.io. So if you're going to, if you click on this profile, you'll be able to see all of the information about this. So. These are custom properties that will now populate in your, in your Klaviyo account for every single um, subscriber that you have. So the program that they're in, referral code, um, referral link, if you're using links, um, offers, the currency, um, the rewards. So you get all of these custom properties now attached to um, your Klaviyo account. So when you're building a flow, and we'll walk through this in a sec, you can include these unique properties in the content. Um, and then you'll also get trigger events. So these trigger events that you can see here, um, join the social snowball through a purchase, through a sign up form, change an affiliate program, send a payout and a new referral sale. Those are as of right now, all the trigger events that we, um, uh, that we integrate into Klaviyo. So let's set up a flow and see how this looks in action. So I'm going to create a flow. I'm going to just do standard. Uh, let's not do it. Let's create from scratch, test, and create flow. So now we select a trigger. <clears throat> so we are going to click segment, choose a segment. Oh, I guess it's not segment. We're going to do list, whoops, metric. Here we go. So let's do when someone, let's do 
a payout send, for example. So a new social snowball payout send, that could be an example of a trigger event that you use um, to send a notification to that affiliate that a payout was sent to them. So that's one example. Um, let's see, we could do new referral. We could do if you change program. Um, we could do if you sign up via sign up form. So, you know, totally up to you. You could probably build out flows for all of these and you probably should um, if you're not using Social Snowball's own um, out of the box email sequences. But if you want to customize everything, you know, further then I would definitely recommend setting all these up. So now we're going to click done and we're going to create an email. So now let's look at adding a custom property into the content of an email. So configure. So we'll do drag and drop just to keep it easy. Just pick a random theme. Cool. All right. So now that we are in the email editor, let's go do a text block. And now let's say we wanted to add a custom property from Social Snowball into this text. So just for example, let's say you wanted to say something like share your discount code, and then we'll put the discount code here and earn then the commission value every time you refer a friend. Okay, just keeping it simple. So if you want to put the discount code here, what we would do is click insert property. And then we would scroll to referral code. And then it would say an earn every time. So earn, we'll put a commission value there. So we'll scroll to referral reward every time you refer a friend. So now this text would say share your discount code. And then here would be the unique code for the recipient and earn, and then the re unique uh, commission value for that recipient. Every time you refer a friend, then all you'd have to do is save this, save the content and you're good to go. So obviously, you know, this is a pretty scrappy example, but this is as far as the functionality, how this would work. Um, you know, as we continue to update the product, we're adding new trigger events and new custom properties frequently so that you can include more dynamic, um, properties in the content of your flows. So keep a lookout for those. And like I said before, setting this up, um, you know, with Clavio is very similar to setting it up with Postscript and the future marketing and retention channel integrations that we build are all going to be really similar. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching.